Hey guys, today we're covering the Boolean modifier. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete Intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. To begin this lesson, let's go ahead and start a new file. So go up to your file menu and pick the option for new general. No need to save what you were working on. And in this file, we start with the default cube and we're gonna learn about a new modifier called the Boolean modifier. But before we use the Boolean modifier, we need to add one more mesh to our scene here. So press Shift A. And then in the Mesh Flyout menu, let's go ahead and pick Cylinder. Click on Cylinder. Now let's press G for grab and Z to move this up in the Z direction a bit. We don't want it all the way up. We want it to be overlapping the cube in some fashion. So go ahead and click to set that down. Then press S for scale, and let's scale it in just a bit, not too, too much, and then click to set that down. Now, roll your mouse wheel forward to zoom in a bit so we can see everything a little closer, something like what I have here on my screen. Now, we're gonna add a Boolean modifier, and what the Boolean modifier allows us to do is to take one object, or one mesh, and then do something related to the other mesh, which can be using a mesh to cut a hole. It could be joining two meshes together, it could be taking the intersection of the two meshes and doing something with that. So we'll talk more about exactly how that all works. But the first thing is before we use modifiers, we want to make sure that we've applied any transformations just in case they might affect or in some way strangely impact the way the modifier works. So in the case of this cylinder, go ahead and press control A with that cylinder selected. And what we want to do is only apply the scale transformation, not the movement or the location one, just the scale. So click scale, and then that's been applied. Okay, now let's go ahead and say, what if we want this cube to be cut by this cylinder? Or in other words, we want the cube to have a little circular hole cut into it. We need to add the modifier to the cube. So click on the cube object, then come over to the wrench icon click on it and then click on add modifier and come to where it says boolean and click on boolean now nothing happens because we haven't told the boolean modifier what object will do the operation on the cube so here it says object so go ahead and click on the eyedropper and then come over and click on the cylinder okay so now the cylinder is doing something to the cube and the something is what we see up here. So we see intersect, union, difference. And by default, difference is what's selected. Now let's leave that alone for right now. And let's talk about why do we not see a hole here? What's going on? Well, for just a moment, come up to the top editor here for the outliner. And next to cylinder, go ahead and click on the eyeball icon to hide it. And now you're seeing what's happening. The Boolean modifier was taking the cylinder and using it to cut the cube. We could still see the cylinder because it's another mesh, but now when we hide it, we see that it's actually cutting into the cube. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and now, back to the lesson. Now, go ahead and turn that cylinder back on, so click on the eyeball icon there. And let's try moving that cylinder, so click once on the cylinder, press G for grab, and let's move it over to the corner and then click to set it down. Then let's hide that cylinder again. There's a shortcut for that. Press H on your keyboard. It's the same as clicking on the eyeball icon here. And you'll notice now that you can see that cut has moved as well. So that's pretty cool, but ideally we would be able to actually see the cut or the hole that we're making while still being able to see the object. But notice that when we come up and click on the eyeball icon to show this, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what the cut will look like. So we need to change the way the cylinder displays. If we're thinking of this cylinder not as a mesh that we actually want to look at, 
but just as a tool, a cutting tool to cut away this other shape, then we might want to do the following. Go ahead and click on the cylinder to select it. And then over on the right hand side, go to the object properties, click on that. And down where it says viewport display, go ahead and click on that drop down and scroll down a little bit. And where you want to go is the display as it currently says textured. Go ahead and click to flip that menu down and pick wire. And notice now that that object will display in wireframe. And what's great about that is we now can more clearly see the cut, but we also have a wireframe. So click once in space to deselect that wireframe and then click on it again to select it. Now you can press G for grab and you can move that wireframe around and see the effect that the cut will have. Whenever you find something interesting, you can go ahead and click to set that down. Now, if that wireframe, as you're orbiting around and you're thinking of this shape as being this, if that wireframe's kind of getting in your way visually, you used it as the tool that you needed and now you need to be done, you can still hide it. So press H for hide. That's the same as clicking on that eyeball icon. So switching that display as wire is when you're thinking of it kind of like a tool then that can be helpful so you can still see it when you want to in terms of using it as a tool, but also see the cut that it's making. For right now, let's show that again. So click on the eyeball icon to show the cylinder and it's still displaying as a wireframe. Now come back over to the wrench icon and click on it and click on the cube to select it so that we can see the Boolean modifier. And let's just take a look at what these other things are. So go ahead and click on the union now the union is going to be the union of the two shapes, which means the two shapes are essentially going to be joined together. So you get both shapes, click on intersect and the intersect will be the intersection of the two and everything else will go away. So the rest of the cube disappears and the rest of the cylinder is no longer there. So only the places where they intersected is what shape will remain. I'll go back to difference. Go, go ahead and click on difference. So the Boolean modifier, I would say is most commonly used in difference mode because you're thinking of it as a way to cut, but there are definitely times where you'll want to unify two shapes together or just take the intersection of two shapes. So it's important to know those options are there. Okay, something else that's important to note. With the cube selected, go ahead and press G for grab and then move it away and click to set it down. And this might have been obvious to you, but for others, it's not something they would expect. The cut goes away and that's because the cutting object, it's just a mesh, just like the cube is a mesh. And so those two can be moved independently of one another. And that means that if you move the cube, the cut will not go along with it. Let's undo back. So control Z on a PC or command Z on a Mac. If you thought of these as two things now that should stick together, that's the cut you want. You're not really wanting to apply it. Remember, we can always apply modifiers and then that geometry will be stuck there. It'll be baked in. You're not ready to apply it yet because you might still want to adjust something about how this Boolean works, but you do want to think of, Hey, I need to move this over to somewhere else in my scene. Of course you could hold down the shift key and click to pick the cylinder as well. Then press G for grab and you can move them around together in cases where you don't want to have to remember to do that. Or in other ways, you just want to really think about this as being stuck together. Go ahead and click once in space. And recall that you can use an empty object and then parent these two groups to that empty object. So let's go ahead and practice that even though we've done it before. So shift a for add, then go down to empty and let's use a plane axes. The plane axes are put at the 3d cursor. We don't really need to see them clearly. We see up in the outliner, it says empty. So go ahead and select the cube by clicking once on it in the outliner, hold shift and pick the cylinder as well. And then hold down the shift key and click and drag those into the empty. And now we've made the empty, the parent of both of those together. Then you can let go of your shift key and then click once on the empty object. It'll seem like these two aren't selected. And that's true. That's because you've selected the empty object and now press G for grab. And when you move the empty object around, because it's the parent, the others are coming along with it. Then what's great is you can still come in and click once on the wireframe and continue to adjust the Boolean modifier or the cutting object, I should say. Press R for rotate, for example, and you could rotate that and then click to set that down. Just remember that if you need to adjust the Boolean modifier, you notice there is no modifier here because we have the cylinder selected. You would need to click on the cube 
and then you're back over here able to adjust it. So those are the basics you need to know for using the Boolean modifier. It's a very powerful way to use one object as a tool to either cut another or to have two or more objects that you unify together or again, less used, but remember there is that intersection possibility as well. So now you know enough about the Boolean modifier to go try it out on some of your projects and you're ready to move on to the next lesson. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.